Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we continue chapter 2, Forces and Motion 1 on topic 2.2, Motion Graph Part 3. So in this video, I will discuss on interpreting and sketching motion graph. Interpreting and sketching graph. Interpreting displacement time graph can help to sketch velocity time graph and vice versa. Or you interpret a velocity time graph to sketch another graph that is acceleration time graph and vice versa. So in order to interpret, you need to remember what we have discussed earlier. In my video uh, 2.2 uh, motion graph part 1, I have discussed uh, the characteristic uh, of displacement time graph and velocity time graph. So you need to uh, remember what we have discussed before so that you will understand better on this part. Okay. Let's say that you are given the first example. Figure 2.24 shows displacement time graph of an object in linear motion. So you can see this graph. There are three sections eh, that shows a different type of motion. So you must be able to determine velocity of the object at each stage of its motion and interpret the displacement time graph to sketch velocity, velocity time graph. Okay. Okay, we discuss uh, part A first. Huh? In order to determine the uh, velocity of the object at each stage of its motion, this is S against the graph. For S against the graph, the gradient of the graph is equal to velocity. So in order to determine the velocity, you just need to calculate the gradient huh, for the part. Okay. Let's say from 0 to 6 seconds. You can draw a triangle below the line, then calculate the gradient. So the gradient for this triangle is equal to 6 minus 0 divided by 6 minus 0. So we get 1 meter per second. So this one will be the velocity from 0 to 6 second. From 6 to 12 second, you can see this line. For this line, gradient equals to 0. So when gradient 0 means velocity is 0. So here we have velocity equals to 0 meter second to the power negative 1. Don't forget to write unit. Eh? Even the value is 0, you still need to write the unit. From 12 to 20 second, again you can draw a triangle below the line for this part only. And then you calculate the gradient, you will get 10 minus 6 divided by 20 minus 12. So we get 0 0.5 meter second to the power negative 1. So you have all the values of velocity for each time interval. There are three sections here. Okay. So when you draw a velocity time graph, you also must have three sections. Same as this graph. Or in other words, you can say you just copy eh, the time, eh, the scale of the graph here. For the time axis. Should be the same. Okay. So now what you do, you just uh, look at the value of V here. For 0 to 6 second, velocity is 1. Okay. So let's say this one is 1 meter per second. So you just draw horizontal line. Because for S against T graph, this line shows uniform velocity or constant velocity. So you have horizontal line eh, for VT graph. Okay. And then 6 to 12, you have 0. So you draw a line here. Even the value is 0, you still need to draw the line eh, to show there is a graph here. Okay, And then 12 to 20, 0 0.5. So here is 0 0.5, then you draw. Okay, So we have a graph of V against T eh, based on the displacement time graph given. So this one we call it interpret and sketch. Okay, okay Next example, example 2. Figure 2.26 shows velocity time graph that is plotted based on the linear motion of a car driven by Ejit Gassim. He drives his car at a speed of 30 meters per second and applies the brakes when he sees an obstruction halangan, on the road. Interpret the velocity time graph of the motion of his car and sketch displacement time graph, acceleration time graph. Okay, So you need to draw two types of graph here. 
Okay, so this is velocity time clock. There are two, uh, two sections here, 0 to 6 seconds and 6 to 10 seconds. Okay, let, let's look at the type of motion first. Eh? From 0 to 6 seconds, this one is uniform velocity. From 6 to 10, you can see velocities, uh, velocity decreases uniformly. So this one is uniform acceleration in opposite direction. Or we can say uniform deceleration or retardation. Okay, so the value of the gradient here is negative. Okay, now based on the velocity time graph, what we can determine from the graph, I hope you still remember for V against T graph, the gradient equals to acceleration. Gradient equals to acceleration. And the area under the graph equals to displacement. Okay, let's say we want to draw the first graph, displacement against time graph. So in order to draw or sketch uh, displacement time graph, you must have the value of displacement uh, for each of the section. Okay, So you need to calculate uh, the value of displacement first. From 0 to 6 seconds here, remember for velocity time graph, the dis uh, displacement is determined by area under the graph, meaning this rectangle. Okay, so it's 30 times 6, you have 180 meter. For 6 to 10 seconds, this triangle. Okay, so for this triangle, so you calculate the area is half times 30 times 4. You have 60 meter. Now you have all the information about displacement. Now we want to sketch the graph. Okay. So displacement time graph, same thing. You can draw the axis first, huh? level. Okay. The axis for time, you just copy. Same as the velocity time graph. Okay. Hanya sama. Ini mesti sama. Time interval mesti sama. Okay. So 0 to 6 seconds, this is uniform velocity. Remember for displacement time graph, if uniform velocity, the graph must be a straight line with positive gradient. Okay, So the graph must be like this. Okay, At 6 seconds, the value of displacement is 180 meter. So here is 180, so meaning the graph will end here. Okay. And then from 6 to 10 seconds, 6 to 10 seconds, you calculate, uh, you have calculated here 60 meter. Displacement is 60 meter. So 180 just now, here is already 180, meaning after 10 seconds, it already travel 180 plus 60. So it becomes 240. So it should be uh, 100 and, uh, 240 at 10 seconds here. How about the shape of the graph? Okay, remember this one just now uh, is deceleration uh, or negative acceleration. Okay. So velocity decreases with time. So for displacement time graph, velocity decreases means the gradient of the graph decreases. So the graph must be curved upwards okay uh, so this one is curved upwards to show that the gradient decreases or velocity decreases or deceleration okay so this one is displacement time graph based on the velocity time graph given okay next we want to draw acceleration time graph same thing for each of the interval you need to calculate the the acceleration okay from 0 to 6 Gradient equals to zero, meaning acceleration zero. For this part, what you do, you need to draw triangle to determine the gradient. So equals to thirty minus zero divided by four. Ten minus six. Okay, so you will get the value is negative negative seven point five meter second negative two. Okay, so if you want to sketch a graph. There's a value for each, each section, 0 to 6, 0, 6 to 10 is negative 7.5. So there must be the negative part of the A-axis. Okay, So 
from 0 to 6, the value is 0. So you draw a line here. From 6 to 10 is negative 7.5. So here. Why this one is a horizontal line? Because uniform acceleration. Okay. So for the form 4 syllabus, we just discuss or sketch a graph until uniform acceleration only. Okay. So that's all for this part, interpret and sketch. So in order for you all to understand better, you must uh, uh, you must understand uh, the characteristic of the graph, displacement time graph, velocity time graph, and acceleration time graph. That one I have discussed in my first video, uh, 2.2 motion graph part 1. Uh, so you can... Uh, watch that video first before you watch this video okay that's all don't forget to subscribe for my next video okay bye